Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to share this layout with you and I think I'm just excited just in general overall because I've started a week's holiday. It's school holidays here in Australia and I get to spend the next week with my children doing relaxing things. We're not going away. Well, we're doing some day trips, but we're not going away for our holiday. Uh, so I am super duper excited right now, which makes me super duper excited to share this with you. Um, so I have been challenged, I'm doing this layout for the Hip Kit Club and I've been challenged to only use the main kit. Now I know lots of you are probably already got your September kits in play, but mine only just arrived today, which is perfect timing for my holiday. So I still had to use the main kit from August. So I know that you're probably in a September mode, but if you haven't cracked into your kit from August yet, then this layout could inspire you to get out those goodies and create a layout. So this is main kit only. I'm just using anything that came in the main subscription kit and I've also, I think, allowed in the rules to use the cardstock kit as well, which I haven't done in this layout. But um, as you'll see, playing around with all these beautiful bits and pieces, you'll see a layout come together even with that really busy background that I have chosen there. How gorgeous are these frames? Pretty little studio uh, have just knocked it out of the park, probably because Kim Watson designed this collection for them. And it is, I just love these frames. In the August kit, I've done a couple of layouts with the frames and I've just fallen in love with them. And I do, I did notice that there were some frames in the September kit when I just opened it up and had a little peek so I'm looking forward to doing some more frame layouts over the coming weeks to share with you guys. So here I am in my usual style playing around having a think about how things are going to be positioned moving them around just sort of getting it right in my head um, and thinking about my embellishments where they're going to go thinking about what's available in the main kit and how am I going to get all these beautiful elements to pop but also not take away from the photos. So as you can see, I've chosen black and white photos for this. This is of Katie and our gorgeous, gorgeous little Summer, who is a family, a family friend's daughter, and she's just the biggest ball of delight. She is um, strong and energetic and happy and smart and bright and cute and Katie and her have just really connected so whenever they see each other they have a lot of fun together and it's lovely to see my beautiful Katie uh, doting on this little dolly uh, so I thought a page to highlight their little relationship would be really good. So I've just picked up some acrylic paint there, just standard white acrylic paint, any brand will do, and just blending out that background a little bit. And what that does is making my embellishment clusters really stand off. As you can see, with the busyness of the frames and that busy background paper, I really needed something to sort of blend out that background. Otherwise, it would all just sort of turn wishy-washy and it not sort of stand out. So I've just just used acrylic paint and a makeup sponge there and I've just applied the acrylic paint in the area that I know my little frame clusters are going to be and um, I'm just going to set that aside to dry and work on making these little frames look adorable. The, how cute it's the oval. The ovals, the ovals have my heart, I think. And the black and white, oh, I love the black and white as well. So here I am just fiddling around, fitting my photos onto the frames and making sure that the photos don't pop out from the backs of the frame. So it looks like they're just purposely made for each other. I'm then at this time thinking about my embellishments and what embellishments out of the main kit are going I can I use to really highlight these photos and make it as sweet as these gorgeous kids are here I am testing the white acrylic paint to make sure it's right and um, so that's what I'm thinking about I'm also I've thought about my title there and making it says best together moment and 
contrasting that beautiful black and white font there with that gold scripty font really breaks that up. Um, so I, I challenge you today to do a layout using two different types or two different fonts in your title and see what you think. Sometimes it's a great idea to mix a block font with a scripty font so they're different or sometimes two block fonts look good together but make sure that they're different sizes so have a little play with that I want to challenge a lot of people will do a layout and they'll just pick up one type or one font of an alphabet set and that will just be the title but I want to challenge you today and I want you to have a play around with a couple of different fonts and let me know if you think that's a good idea let me know if you think yeah that came together okay I really want to I really want your feedback and I really want my I guess when I'm making these videos I'm thinking about how can I inspire you with my scrapbooking style there's so many beautiful artists out there and everyone has their unique style and I know that um, my friends have certainly said that they can pick a Lauren layout a mile off which really indicates to me that there must be something that I'm doing regularly to indicate oh yeah that's a Lauren layout so I think um if my my style of scrapbooking sort of really jumps out at you and you really enjoy um, the the way I put layouts together, I want you to give this title title gig a try and see see how it um, works out for you as well. Share it with me, tag me on social media so I can check it out. I'd really love to comment and make new crafty friends on social media. So please tag me um, and. And yeah, I'd really like to connect with you all. So here I am playing around with the embellishment pack. All these little square pieces that you see I'm playing with are from layouts that I'd done earlier in the month and I hadn't planned forward. I hadn't looked forward to realise that I was only I was doing a main kit only challenge. So I just piled all my leftover ephemera pieces into the one bag. So, but I'm pretty sure every piece of ephemera I've used on this layout is all from the main kit. But I wanted to make it magical. So I've done some, used some fussy cut little butterflies there from the pattern paper. And I've used some embellishments there, the little leaves to poke out the side and that picture perfect little banner there. And that gorgeous little birdie that's going to sit on the, on the side there. I really wanted to sort of create that gorgeous little magical cluster there on, on each of the photos and particularly this one in the corner because it has that title of picture perfect and the little butterfly and it has lots of layers and lots of little little bits and pieces that little cluster there in the corner tend to it tends to have been the feature frame in the in, in this little collection there let me know what you think do you think that that little cluster has come together well and do you think by me adding those extra little embellishments just here and there have really made that little cluster a cluster a feature there. So as you can see, I'm working on this cluster off the page and sometimes it's easier to do that. I've done layouts in the past, which I might actually do one in the next few weeks where I have created the cluster on my desk before I've even picked my base page and it's probably the reason why I haven't done it is because I've been doing lots of layouts lately with just a white background so I I I've I think I might do that upcoming. So I want to show you that just playing around with your embellishments and creating a cluster, not even having chosen your background paper can really be a fun thing to do and a really fun thing to try. So if I haven't done that in the next few weeks, remind me to do that because I think that that's a that's something that I really love doing and or and it's a little bit different in my normal process here. So I'm going to try and remember to do that. The text that on this pattern paper, when my acrylic paint dried, it started to I could st really see it through, and I really wanted to block that out as much as I could. So I've just added another layer of white acrylic paint over the top, which really just sort of reinforced that and and really kind of blocked out that um, that beautiful. Well, it's absolutely gorgeous that that cut those words that are on that base page there, and. Um, 
yeah, and I, I think that's really done the trick and, and created the effect that I was hoping for. I've also, with some of these frame clusters, I've used foam to give it a little bit of dimension. I, I warn you, though, when doing this, if you don't like bulky layouts, and I have on that, just that little cluster there, I have really three levels of dimension. I've got the foam that's behind the cluster, the foam that's behind the little banner, and even the little butterfly by bending up the wings and adding a little bit of uh, foam behind that has created that third layer. So if you be mindful of your foam use, if you're really considering um, the 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 thickness of your layouts and I'm trying to be more mindful of that clearly not on this layout though um, because of my layout storage and I'm really you know I've got albums and albums and albums of these layouts and the more that I can fit in one album the better and one way of being mindful of of that and trying to get that to work really well is not to create too many dimensional layouts so yeah, so as you can see here, I'm now just having a bit of a play around with my, you know, I'm centering it there, trying to make sure that they're all in the right spot and having a play around with my position. This is when I was planning this at the beginning of the layout, you saw me um, trying to trying to work it out and I, I got a general gist in my, in my mind around how I wanted these sort of frames to sit and now having done that little bit of planning I feel really confident with how that's sort of going to go and I feel confident just to stick that down. I really wish I was one of those scrapbookers that just knew where everything was going to go and just would stick it down straight away but it's just not me. I, I tend to have um, these ideas even though I've got no formal experience in design whatsoever of thinking something's right or something's not right. So when I set something down, I go, no, that's not right. Or I hope that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. But when I'm putting embellishments down, I, I have this sort of gut feeling, no, nope, that's not where that's meant to be. And I don't know where that comes from. I don't know whether that's just my style and how that sort of works. But I just know that when I'm putting things down, they have to go a certain way, which tends to be my style. You don't see, what I've noticed is that I don't tend to do layouts where there's lots of diagonal kind of elements or I tend to steer away from circles and you know, those layouts where people will use sort of um, diagonals or um, diamond shapes or things like that when there's a bit of an odd shape I tend to steer away from those things because I think that gut feeling in me is going oh that, that, that doesn't look right it just tends when I look at someone else's creation I think oh that looks amazing <laughs> <laughs> but then when I try to replicate that or or try some of those techniques, it just doesn't seem to work as well for me. So I guess that's something that, you know, if I really want to do some goal setting, maybe next year I could really push myself around how, um, you know, pushing myself uh, out of my comfort zone and doing some things that I wouldn't otherwise do and see if I can get comfortable with having things, you know, not where I think they're meant to be and hopefully they'll come together. How gorgeous are those epoxy stickers? This though That sticker set is just brightness, happiness, exploding. I, I just love these. I actually have a another set that I picked up at my local scrapbooking store. Well, my local online scrapbooking store because they're not local to my me geographically, but um, the store that I love to shop at, I picked up another set of those and I know that having those in my, my stash, they will not be um they'll they'll not go wasted i know that there'll be plenty of beautiful layouts that i'll be able to create with those um and those beautiful little birdies um i just had to have them on so as you can see this layout's getting really quite busy and one part of me sort of is a little bit oh, I, don't, I, I think am i losing the photos in this moment here i do add a little bit of journaling to the end but i am mindful that all these beautiful embellishments may have taken away from those absolutely gorgeous photos and what i'm thinking is maybe on when i put this into the album the layout on the opposite side that i create is maybe have one of these photos in a six by four or six by eight inch 
photo and do another layout that complements this one sort of so it sort of carries through the storytelling that when you open up the album you'll see this layout with this big beautiful photo which will have a have the story of what they are and then when you look onto the next page you can take some time and and um, have a look at those intricate little photos even though they're smothered in absolute gorgeousness with these beautiful embellishments um from the truly great i think these ones are from the truly grateful collection by pink paisley and they're designed by Paige evans so um i think having that um layout with the bigger photo there will really help settle down this this side which is really busy and um it and it will allow you to take a moment to have a look at those smaller photos there one way i tried to help them is by printing them in black and white um if they were in color that would just add more color and more and and blend them more into all that busyness which i think would have been an extra level of taking away from the layout and what was meant to be here so adding a little banner there which is from that um i think it's pink fresh studio truly grateful collection and a couple of little bits and pieces there that I wanted to add in making making the magic happen with these tiny little embellishments I love the little bits and bobs they just they're just the joy of scrapbooking and the joy of you know playing with paper it's the therapy I guess what you can say there look I've gone and put a massive big blob of glue on there sometimes I'm trying to get that glue out of that you know my treasured little glue stick there and then hardly anything comes out and then you get that where a big blob falls out but anyway um so yeah so here i am just finishing off these last little bits and pieces with um these few little bit more embellishments and i'm going to add some journaling and this will be my layout complete now um thank you for stopping by and if you've hung in with me up until now which i know this has been a long one um I say thank you. If you like my style, please subscribe to my channel. And if you um, have really liked this layout, please give it a like. It helps my channel and I really appreciate you stopping by. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.